Hey, this is Sean Russell, Anime3000.com. In today's video, we have Alex Suzuki from Anime Cell Art, who's going to be going over the cell creation process. If you want to find out more about Anime Cell Art, make sure you go to Anime3000.com and look for A3K Radio. And so basically the cell artist, you know, takes the um, actual um, drawing, which is called the doga in Japanese, and they trace that onto tracing paper, and then they place the tracing paper on top of the cell, actual cell. And if I go into detail a little bit, um, cells, you know, um, C-E-L is how you spell cell, and that comes from um, the word celluloid, because that's what they, they that um, was used initially. Um, but that's like way back in like the um, old like Disney animation period, like in the um, 50s. But now um, everything was everything is uh, used with um, acetate sheets. It's more durable and um, also it's it's not as prone to um, scratches. So and you know so they um, cell artist uses a tracing drawing um, and places that on basically inks on the uh, drawing onto the cell itself and then from there that you know he or she applies the paint and makes it all pretty and pristine looking and basically that's how a cell is created and also um, the paint is also an interesting thing that um, there's only two types of paints um, there's one is the uh, Toei animation paint and uh, the other one is um, the AX paint so there's only two types of um, cell paints but so it's really, how should I say, it's like a really limited, um, I guess, limited amount of tools right currently available because, you know, they're not using, um, you know, actual animation, you know, creation right now. But um, yeah, so I guess that's, that pretty much covers the uh, creation process in a nutshell. We'd like to thank Alex Suzuki for stopping by on A3K TV and A3K Radio. And if you want more, anime cells go to animecellart.com